Hey everyone, this is David DeFranco from Squarespace Summit with another Squarespace tutorial. Now today's tutorial is very interesting, especially if you're coming over to Squarespace from another content management platform such as WordPress. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. We're going to walk you through the easy process of importing your WordPress website into Squarespace within just minutes. So to get started, as always, let's press the escape key on our keyboard, which takes you to our usual content manager view. And then the next thing we want to do is click the gear icon, also known as settings in the far left sidebar. And then almost towards the bottom of this sidebar, click import slash export. Then in the top right, we'll click the import button. Now, as you can see, through this pop-up window, we have a variety of choices of different platforms to import into Squarespace, including Squarespace version 5, because for those not aware, Squarespace is currently on version 6. We also have the option of importing WordPress, which is obviously the point of today's tutorial, as well as Tumblr, Blogger, also known as Blogspot, Etsy, Shopify, and Big Cartel. But for this video's purpose, we're going to import a WordPress website, so let's click on just that, WordPress. Now unfortunately, I do not have a WordPress website that I want to import right now, but still, if you are importing a WordPress website, this pop-up window makes it pretty obvious. This is where you want to include your WordPress URL, your login, and your password. But of course, to make things a little more exciting, if you want to go a little advanced, you can click on the Advanced tab up top, and choose different options of the processor setting between standard WordPress, Textile, and Markdown. And if you do have a WordPress XML file, which is actually quite common, you can upload that right here. But for the basic users, you'll probably just want to stay in this tab again where you're going to include your WordPress URL, your WordPress login, as well as your WordPress password. Now, as you can see in this small text right here, Squarespace will import all of your posts, pages, comments, and attachments. Style and other content must be manually moved over. So if you are currently using a unique WordPress template, do not expect that to carry over to Squarespace because Squarespace, like WordPress, uses its own kind of template system. So in other words, all of your content will be carried over but it's up to you to customize the appearance of your website. But we promise you, it's an incredibly easy process. It can take a little while, but believe us, it's easily worth it. Because we're not gonna lie, we're obviously a little biased. WordPress is a nice platform, but Squarespace is so much more user-friendly. And of course, if you do have any questions about this process, please do not hesitate to comment right below. We are always happy to help. So thank you so much for watching another tutorial powered by Squarespace Summit. And yes, as always, stay tuned for many future tutorials directly from sbasesummit.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.